child, it's your boy, Trey. I see an icon, a showstopper. But they not gonna believe me cause I'm just a Julia. I just wanna tell them I know wife and a daughter. Tell them that I write songs, not another. Don't tell me that I run, don't bother. Alright, child, it's your boy, Trey. Today we're gonna be reviewing Soul Sold Separately by Freddie Gibbs, man. Guys, I just wanna say, y'all, this album was so, such an experience for me listening to an artist for the first time and it's their most recent album and for me to like like for me to like like it so much and think this is a classic is so crazy like this album was perfect like no flaws the production was great the features were great the artist uh, we're gonna get into that in a second but man like just the way just what he displayed on there was so crazy to me talking about coming up selling crack how he's still selling crack and he's in, he's rich now and he's still selling crack which is crazy like it's just a lot that he's talking about on here and i'm just like wow bro like talking about kids x like x setting them up in 2003 like it's a lot of stuff that came in this man i, I man so first up y'all already know man we got artist performance and i just want to say the artist performance on here was Bro, it was amazing. It was amazing. It was so amazing, bro. And I feel like, I feel like Gibbs showed out on here. Like, he did so much. Like, nobody, okay, it's only, Moneybag Gil is the only one who I feel like maybe outperformed him. But he he did. This was his album. Like, nobody outperformed him. For the most part, besides that one money bag yo verse, which was like one of the best verses on the album. But like he he just displays so much as an artist. Like he was versatile. He sang a little bit. He rapped. He did a lot on here. And I'm just like, wow, bro. For me to listen to an artist for the first time and them to just create like a masterpiece like that where no flaws in this album at all. No flaws. Like perfect. Front to back. Perfect. I got to give him a 10 out of 10 for artist performance. Like. He did so much on there, man. Like, it's so crazy how much he did. And I get so much respect for him. Like, so much respect for him, man. Like, Freddie Gibbs, I got to check out another album by him. Y'all comment it down below. So, today is Monday the 13th. So, the album reaction will come out on Valentine's Day. Like, man, this, this was so fire to me, man. Next up, we got content. So, the content of this album, the content was so good. I liked how... Basically, the album took place in the hotel, the Triple S Hotel. Throughout the entire album, almost every song at the end had like the voicemail come up, or just the um the hotel clerk come up and just talk. He had like Joe Rogan talking on here at some point. Like it was so different, bro. Like it was like so much he did on here that was just like wow, bro. Like how is he doing this, bro? Like he talked about selling crack. Like I said in the beginning of the video, selling crack. Like, making it off the hood, like, how it felt to be poor and how he feels to be rich. Like, like he was chasing stuff that he wasn't supposed to be chasing, ultimately. Like, he was, man, Gibbs put on a, a magnificent storyline on here. Like, bro, he was talking about making it out the hood. That's why I can't wait to go listen to another album by him so I can get more about him, like, as a, as a person, as an artist, bro, like. I can't wait to go back to his older albums because I heard I heard it's not even his best album. So and to me, this was a, this is a classic. So I'm like, wow, this is not even his best. Think about what he has in store on another album. man. So, yeah, content. I'm going to give it I'm going to give it an eight out of ten because I didn't fully understand the hotel concept. But I'm going to give it an eight out of ten for that because it was still such good, like just storytelling in this album. It was it was so amazing, bro. I really love and appreciate what Gibbs did on here. Next up, we got features. Bro, the features on here was so crazy, bro. Like, Anderson, Pack, Offset, Moneybag, yo, Raekwon, Scarface, Pusha T. Pusha T went crazy. The um, music soul child. But, like, to me, Moneybag, yo, had the best verse. Him and Rick Ross. Moneybag, yo, and Rick Ross both had the best verses on the album as features. Anderson packed this whole bro. Uh, features is a 10 out of 10 by far. But like just these guys were flowing with Freddie Gibbs and they matched his energy 
they didn't out, nobody outperformed him really, but they matched his energy and no feature. It's no feature on here. I'm like, nah, I don't need to be there. Every single feature was perfect. It needed to be there. You know what I mean? And I just appreciate that so much, man. Like, I love this album. The feature's so good, bro. Money back, yo, flowed on there. And Rick Ross did too, bro. Rick Ross is so cold. Rick, Ro Rick Ross needs to be considered a legend at some point. I think Rick Ross can be considered a legend soon. Because he's going so hard still, bro. Like, Rick Ross has been in the game for so long, man. So, features get a 10 out of 10, man. It was really good. Next up, we got production. So, for the production on this album, bro, it was perfect. Perfect. Like, super perfect. Like, like different. Like as I was saying, um, the production is so, like I liked how, how soulful, some of it was. Like it was, like really soulful, like almost like almost jazzy, I would say. But like Gibbs just smashed it, bro. Like his his flows, cadences, like bro, it was so it was so crazy, man. Like he, the production definitely, like he rolled the production. He did so good, man. I'm so in, I'm still so impressed with the way. Gibbs is doing this, bro. Like it was next level for sure, and I really appreciate and respected that. So production definitely gets a ten out of ten, man. Okay, instant replay, ten out of ten. I'm just gonna say that ten out of ten. Like I'm definitely gonna listen to this some more, man. Get another feel for it, and let y'all know what I think about it. Cause man, it was so crazy to me to listen to this and just be like, wow, bro, this dude, this dude is legit. Like he's this dude is fire. This dude got got some bangers in him, bro. Like, and he's and Freddie Gibbs might be underrated. Like, honestly, he might be underrated, bro. Cause he's he was put together, he put together a, a master class on here, man. Just so fire. But yeah, man, some of my favorite songs are are them all. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like the one with Rick Ross was good, the moon, money back was good, but bro, like, yeah, bro, Gibbs definitely destroyed this whole thing and i'm just like man this is so crazy bro like he displayed a lot man i i really appreciate him as an artist and as a rapper and i have respect for him because man 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 but y'all man let me know what y'all think about this down below man thank you guys so much for suggesting this album it was a fantastic first listen i can't wait to listen to it again and get another feel for it but, yeah, man, let me know what y'all think about it down below. Y'all hit that like and sub button, man. Check out the album reaction coming out tomorrow on Valentine's Day. See y'all next video.